Hey guys, it is week 8 of Super Rugby AU. It is the Brumbies versus the Waratahs that I am covering in this video. If you want to watch the Force versus Raids prediction, it will be linked up here. Uh, it is already out. Otherwise, you can just find it at the end of the video. I am trying something a little bit different in the approach to the Australian games. So, since it isn't finding a lot of traction. So if you do know people that loves Australian rugby, rugby please share the video with them. Let's get into the standings. You can see the Brumbies are at the top of the pool with everyone hot on their heels. Anyone can reach them in a win, except the Force. They are the only team that are really out of the competition at the moment. The GIO Stadium hosts the Brumbies versus the Waratahs this weekend. Uh, it's light rain predicted and not too windy. They do have a great referee though, so I think it could be a great game. He does tend to slow things down a bit. That does play into the favor of the Brumbies, I would reckon. History does favor the Brumbies. The Waratahs haven't beaten them since March 2018. Uh, earlier in the AU season this year, the Brumbies narrowly escaped with a victory, uh, beating the Waratahs 24-23. The Waratahs may be three from six games so far this season, but if you look at their specific games, there's only one big loss so far, and that was to the Rebels. The rest of them were close games. The Brumbies, they are four from five so far, one big loss to the Rebels as well, So, and that was before their bye. Now they are quite rested out and probably ready to see out the season. I don't know how much that loss weighed on the expectations of the coach because he made nine changes to the starting team for the Brumbies and one positional switch. One of those switches, Slipper and Harry, Harry Johnson Holmes for the Waratahs, both of them comes in for their respective teams and they will face off against each other in the scrums. Both have been impressive so I can't really pick a favorite between the two. Hookers, the Brumbies will miss their try scorer Falau Fahinga, but it looks like his replacement McInerney can also score a couple of tries from Malls if the Maul is set up right. That's if the line out jumpers don't struggle. It is a new but experienced pairing, Douglas and Neville. They are up against Simmons and Hannigan who will look to disrupt them in that facet of play. The Waratahs, they stick to a tried and tested loose forward combo. Hooper, he played his 150th game last weekend. While the Brumbies, they shuffled a bit in their loose forwards with McCaffrey coming in, Miller as well. So basically their whole loose forward combo is a strong carry carrying front. Lenorgan and Quinzel makes a young halfback pairing for the Brumbies. They are up against experienced Gordon, who's been electric since coming back from his, I think, injury. I think he was injured. Since he's come back, everything's been ticking for the Waratahs. Harrison, who punishes every player or every team with his boot, is due to punish the Brumbies as well with a couple of penalties. The center pairings both are disrupted a bit at number 13. The Waratahs bring in Walton, who's been good. I do think though that Ikitawa has been a bit better. He's brought something else to their team. He's up against Carter who's playing his first game at number 13 or in the center. So Walton, he's going to have to prepare for some big hits in this game because Carter likes driving into any tackle. Out wide, the Brumbies pick their strongest combo, I would say. Uh, with Andy Muriad and Wright coming in, with Banks at fullback. How much they will get the ball with Carter at number 13 remains to be seen, because I do have a feeling Carter will take it in every chance he gets. I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of hands from the guy. Waratahs, they back their trio that has gotten better over this last couple of weeks. I In the, in the first couple of weeks, you just knew Maddox, who's been great all along. But Ram and Newsom, they've announced themselves as well. Ram just gets a gap anyway. Newsom can round off any try in great spectacular form. So that's guys to look out for them. The Brumbies didn't stop their changes in their first starting team. Look out for strong finishing from Sio, Valentini and Cusack in the pack. And I can't wait to see Nick White Back in a Brumbies jersey. Uh, he's one of two backline replacements for the Brumbies since it is a 6-2 split that they're going for. 
you can see they are trying to dominate up front in this game. The Waratahs, they will look to guys in red, I would say, for a strong finish. The prediction, though, this one is actually more difficult than initially anticipated. The Brumbies made a lot of changes, which usually sways me in the other team's direction. But they had two weeks to cook to prepare for this game how does that change things i see the brumbies as, as uh, having a slight favorite in the set plays the back lines it is a bit disrupted but i think it isn't disrupted enough for them to lose i would say the brumbies to win by three points guys let me know your prediction for this game down in the comments below also check out the other prediction for this weekend popping up here next to me and then i'll see you for the next one cheers Stop.